Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 11 Weird Facts About Space There's a lot to wonder about space, and just like the ocean, the fact that we may not know all the answers about it scares us the most. Are we alone, or are there other people somewhere on an unknown planet? I'm pretty sure that not even NASA can answer that question. However, some of the things we do know are mind-boggling. With the help of technological advancement, we humans have learned more facts about space in the past century than in all of time before that. So we've compiled for you some of the weird facts about space that you'll think of when you look up at the stars at night. You'll be wowed by the new facts you've learned. Are you ready? Here are 11 weird facts about space. Number 11. The Solar System is Very Ancient Would you believe me if I tell you that the solar system is 4.568 billion years old? I know most of you probably wouldn't. Scientists have found a way to measure its age by using the radioactive decay of isotopes that are found in rocks and meteorites. The potassium and uranium isotopes were formed at the same time as the solar system. Therefore, it is assumed that the age of the rocks and meteorites is the age of the solar system. The age of the solar system is currently measured using meteorites because most rocks have been destroyed over time. The radioactive dating techniques are used to determine how much of the isotopes in the meteorites have decayed. As such, the oldest meteorites give the age of the solar system as 4.568 billion years. It has been difficult for scientists to find rocks that were not altered by the Earth's tectonic plates. Thus, this age could be refined in the future because that's what the scientists have said. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 10. Uranus is the only planet on its side Uranus is the seventh planet and is said to be the only planet that is virtually sideways. Thus, its name, the Sideways Planet. While our Earth's axis is tilted at 23 degrees, Uranus's axis is tilted at an angle of 98 degrees. This means that only a slight part of Uranus receives the Sun at certain times in its orbit around the Sun. The poles of Uranus, for example, see sunlight for 42 years, and then darkness for 42 years, since it takes 84 years for Uranus to orbit the Sun. As weird as it sounds, Uranus has day and night only half of the time during its orbit. Imagine living on Uranus and having to experience such a season where almost a quarter of the Uranian year, that is 84 Earth years, is light and the rest is dark. This unusual orientation was researched and the astronauts claim that it was due to a collision with a planet-sized body, or several small bodies, soon after it was formed. Number 9. The Great Red Spot Jupiter's Great Red Spot is a gigantic storm that cannot even be compared to the largest hurricane ever recorded on Earth, which spanned over a thousand miles. The Great Red Spot's wind speed is about 400 miles per hour on its edges, but relatively calm at the storm's center. Believe it or not, the Great Red Spot has been swirling wildly over Jupiter's sky for the past 150 years or longer. Since 1878, scientists and observers have been observing it and keeping records as they analyze the old observing, combining them with the new ones. As early as the 1600s, stargazing has been a thing among astronomers ever since the red spot was spotted, and scientists still struggle to learn what causes its swirl of reddish hues. Number 8. A Planet Made of Diamonds if diamonds had feelings, they would probably hate the idea of moving from the best to the second best. It now has competition in the form of a planet made largely of diamonds. Amazing, right? I bet there's already people thinking of how they could go to space and get all that diamond. The superplanet was discovered in 2004, and it was named 55 Cancri E. The planet has a radius three times as large as that of our planet and a mass eight times greater. At first, it was said that the planet contained more carbon than oxygen, 
But a later, researchers dashed our hopes high and said it may not be as carbon rich as previously thought. This is because the host star is cooler than the sun and more metal enriched, creating an oxygen abundance in the star. The superplanet is said to make a full orbit in just 18 hours, while our Mother Earth takes 365 days. It would be great to live on such a planet, but sadly the temperature of 55 Cancri E is 2100 degrees Celsius, making it way too hot for life. Number 7. The Sunset on Mars Appears Blue Humans were shown how a sunset looks like on Mars in 1976 and have since then been sent different photos with Mars having two colors, but the most seen has been the blue one. This came as a surprise to everyone wondering why the sunset of a red planet looks blue. Well, the answer to that also applies to why the Earth's sky is blue and why its sunsets are red. Molecules, wavelengths, and dust particles interact with specific waves to create sunlight. The color we see is due to the scattering of light at night by these particles. The shots were taken by astronauts when in space to help scientists determine how high into the atmosphere the Martian dust extends. It's amazing how Earth and Mars are the only two planets that have sunsets that we can observe. Number 6. A Planet with Two Suns In 2011, NASA's Space Telescope discovered its first planet that orbits two suns, which were named Circumbinary Planets. Similar to what Luke Skywalker saw on Tatooine in the 1977 movie Star Wars, the Kepler Space Telescope captured double sunrises and sunsets. The scientists then named the planet Kepler-1647b. Kepler-1647b is said to be approximately the same age as Earth, 4.4 billion years old, and is located 3,700 light-years away. It is known to be the largest known circumbinary planet. The circumbinary planet is a gas giant, making the planet unlikely to be within the habitable zone. Number 5. Astronauts' Footprints on the Moon Neil Armstrong became the first person ever to walk on the moon on July 21st, 1969. It may have been decades since man last set foot on the moon, but the surface doesn't know that. It's still marked with the very last footprints of the very last astronauts who stomped across it because there is no breeze nor erosion that will sweep up dust and erase the footprints. Apart from that, there is also no volcanic activity on the moon to change the lunar surface features. However, the moon is known to be exposed to bombardment by meteorites that will change the surface. And while just one space rock could wipe out a footprint on the moon, lucky for us, that will be a very slow process, maybe even as long as the lifetime of the moon. Number 4. The Icy Volcano Unlike Earth volcanoes that erupt hot, molten rock, icy volcanoes such as cryovolcanoes erupt methane gas, water, and ammonia among other materials. Ahuna Mons is now far from being the only cryovolcano in the solar system. Scientists have spotted cryovolcanism on the moon Enceladus, Triton, and other worlds outside the solar system. Eruptions of cryovolcanoes are caused by the body's internal heat, which is generated by the gravitational reaction with their mother planets. Number 3. The Moon is Rusting The Moon is the only other body in the solar system with which we humans are fairly familiar with since it's one of the first that we ever have set foot on. From what we have heard from the astronauts who went there is that there is no air and no water. With this knowledge, it comes as a shock to the scientists when they detected hematite. Hematite is an oxidized form of iron that requires the presence of air and water to form, which can only happen on Earth. The moon is slowly losing its white glow and becoming red because it's getting rusty and the Earth's atmosphere might be the one causing it. Scientists have been working to figure out just how rust forms in a dry and atmosphereless environment like the moon. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video.
Number 2. Planet Earth Ever since we were kids, we were taught the solar system. And from that, we know that there is only one planet Earth, eight other planets, plus others that were recently discovered over the past century. With that, we can easily conclude that this photo is photoshopped. The photo is a thumbnail for YouTube videos talking about creepy facts about space. Number 1. A full NASA suit costs $12 million When you see astronauts in space, just know that they're wearing a suit worth $12 million. That could cover a lot of people's rent. So what makes these suits that much? A spacesuit is worn to protect astronauts from many things, like the harsh vacuum and radiation of space, water to drink, oxygen to breathe while in space, protect them from space dust, and not forgetting these special gold-lined visors that are there to protect eyes from bright sunlight. NASA invested over about a quarter billion dollars with the help of the government of the USA in developing the Zemu suit for its Artemis program where they're planning to finally send astronauts to Mars.